He was independent Kenya's first attorney general and throughout his long career in that position, he would be by far the second most powerful man in the country after the president. Charles Mugane Njonjo was born in 1920 at Kikuyu in Kiambu district of Central Province. His father, Josiah Mugane, a senior chief in the British colonial administration, sent Njonjo to Kikuyu Primary School and then in 1937 to nearby Alliance High School, then the leading boarding secondary school for Kenyan Africans. Upon successfully completing his studies at Alliance in 1941, Njonjo joined King's College Budo in Uganda, from which he proceeded to Fort Hare University in South Africa, where he studied law. In 1946, Njonjo left South Africa for Exeter University, England, for postgraduate studies in public administration. Between 1947 and 1950, Njonjo studied at the London School of Economics. While at the LSE, he served as chairman of the East African Students' Union, whose literary secretary at the time was Fitz de Souza, a Kenyan of Goan descent, who would later become the first deputy speaker of independent Kenya's parliament. Njonjo spent the next four years studying law and in 1954 was admitted as a barrister at law to Gray's Inn in London, one of the most prestigious inns of law in England. Two years before then, on October 20, 1952, the colonial governor in Kenya, Sir Evelyn Baring, declared a state of emergency throughout Kenya in an effort to combat the Mau Mau armed rebellion which had broken out in parts of central province against British rule. That day, many leaders of the only countrywide African political party, the Kenya African Union, KAU, including the party's president, Jomo Kenyatta, were arrested, later tried and jailed for their part in the Mau Mau rebellion. After serving their jail terms, Kenyatta and his co-accused would be kept in detention for a number of years. Njonjo returned to Kenya in 1955 and joined the colonial government service as a registrar and quickly rose through the ranks to become registrar general. As Kenya's independence drew near, promotions for Njonjo would come in a flurry. In 1961, he was made senior crown counsel. The following year, he became deputy public prosecutor. Njonjo's promotions by the colonial government came even as the country was undergoing major changes on the political front. In 1960, the colonial authorities had again allowed the formation of African political parties. Among the new parties would be the Kenya African National Union, KANU, and the Kenya African Democratic Union, KADU. On being released from detention in 1961, Kenyatta would take up the leadership of Kanu, while Ronald Ngala would become Kadu's leader. A constitutional conference held in early 1962 in London agreed to set up a kanu kadu coalition government in preparation for the last general election to be held in May 1963 before Kenya's independence later that year. In the coalition government formed in May 1962, Kenyatta and Ngala became joint leaders of government, with Kenyatta as Minister of State for Constitutional Affairs and Economic Planning and Ngala as Minister of State for Constitutional Affairs and Administration. After Kanu won the May 1963 general election and Kenyatta became Kenya's first Prime Minister on June 1st or Madaraka Day, Kenyatta appointed Njonjo as Attorney General. 